is your own, Mr. Will. William Furiosi has been a teacher at Oviedo High School for more than six years. This year, he was voted by his peers as Teacher of the Year for Oviedo High and has gone on to be named the Countywide High School Teacher of the Year. It's the first time in six years a teacher from Oviedo has received the honor. Obviously, it's, it's Teacher of the Year, so it's how effective um, and engaging the instruction is um, in my classroom and, and how I really connect with the students. I mean, the content doesn't change every year, but the students do, and that's what really excites me and, and gets me excited to come, come to school in the morning. I think he's really inspirational. I've definitely seen between in my personal life and in my peers that he's really affected them academic-wise and had a per made a like really close personal connection with a lot of the students. Honestly, Mr. Furiosi was actually the main reason I took experimental science. Um, I'm extremely grateful to have a teacher that's uh, as experienced in the field and competition that I'm planning on, uh, on going into. Um, and b because he just, he just knows things that a lot of other teachers don't. Um, it's really helpful to have somebody who knows what good research looks like and the real process of getting to completing good research. I went to the school board um, meeting to recruit a science teacher and I interviewed Will along with many other high schools who wanted him and the one thing he said that really struck me is he instead of going to med school he was going to had a passion to be an educator so right then and there I wanted to hire Will to come to Oviedo High School. William Furiosi has found success in his teaching methods and uses them to help others around him. You know, Will's first year as an AP Biology teacher, he had a 100% pass rate. And then since then, with experimental science, he's kind of rebirthed that whole program. So we now have several sections of that. And, and that's important because it's kids um, competing for science fair. So what makes Will really special as a teacher, I feel, is he can work with all types of students, whether they're struggling students or high achieving students. It doesn't matter to uh, Mr. Furiosi. He can do it all. With Mr. Furiosi, he teaches you he, he gets you really close to doing work that actually matters. He puts you on like the frontier of knowledge. I tell everybody that I, I almost feel like I have a little bit of imposter syndrome at times because I look around. Oviedo High School is a great school because everybody is so good at what they do. And if that's something that they're looking for, really it's just good teaching um, and putting what's best for the students and really engaging and, and finding what's meaningful to them and relevant with the content that you're teaching. William Furiosi will go on to compete for the SCPS Overall Teacher of the Year. For Roar TV, I'm Julia Hoffman. Alliances form. I would like to say that we agreed with the delegate of Iraq. And conflict is inevitable. I feel like the chair is doing a poor job at keeping the conference on track. But it's all a part of the experience of a new club on campus. So our new Model United Nations Club is a way for students to come and act as if they were part of the real United Nations. So what each student does is that they take one country and they pre-vote on what they're going to discuss in the meeting. And then what they do is they argue and they talk as if they are the delegate from that country. It models the real United Nations. So everything is super formal. Um, it follows the real United Nations protocol. Uh, so we'll begin with like, usually begin with like a speaker's list or so it's called, which is essentially just a normal list of countries in the order they want to speak in. And they provide some general ideas on like what their stance on the topic is. Then, then you move on to like these moderated caucuses, which are more back and forth, like traditional debate, where a country says something and then other countries can respond back and it's, it's like a, a real debate. Seeing as the United Nations has 193 members, this is one club where new members can instantly enhance the experience. More interesting with more people that have more ideas and that can represent their country exactly as their country or delegate from a particular nation would um, conduct themselves in a real United Nations session. And while club meetings may at times get silly, <laughs> solving problems and finding solutions is really the name of the game. This club offers a several of several things that are going to help students in the long run. First is to debate, because when you debate, it's not fighting. It's talking, working things through. It's not necessarily getting angry or frustrated. It's working together to come to a conclusion. Um, it's also really great to help students who need to understand that using a foreign language and understanding how other countries work is important. 
The club meets in Miss Huffman's or Miss and Hinger's room twice a month, in case you're interested. For more TV, I'm Davis Cruz. From the roll of the wheels to the click of the mouse. Even with COVID, people are making the best of a bad situation and switching up their plans. Um, yes, COVID didn't necessarily, I would say, completely change them, but it did influence them to the point where I had to change because I applied to a few film programs. I got into a couple of them, but what ended up happening was one of them I couldn't afford to go either way because I didn't get as much financial need as I anticipated. COVID definitely changed my plans as far as I wanted all of my classes to be on campus. I wanted the experience of having my first year in college be on campus and not online, but I was always planning on living at home and saving money, so I didn't have to worry about how the dorm rooms changed or anything, but it was definitely um, a disappointment to not be on campus for classes. Not only are college freshmen having to change the way they do college, but high school seniors have to change the way they do their college searches. It is a difficult process finding a college that fits right for you, not only somewhere where you can afford, but somewhere you would feel comfortable um, studying. So this process of finding where you belong is much more difficult this year. Since college visits are no longer allowed, college fairs are not happening, now these events are virtual, and there's not much connection in these virtual events as you would get in previous years. I would recommend seniors going into college to definitely go for the college they want to attend to, but if all of their classes are going to be online, no matter how badly you want to go there, college is expensive and you should definitely save money and live at home if you have online classes or at least try to find some roommates and save some money because it's not worth being on campus for not even being able to attend classes there. For more TV, I'm Davis Cruz. Starting in 1926, the Rendezvous became a popular place for movie stars to grab a bite, but in 1932, it became a place where local distributors, visiting directors and actors, would gather for executive private screenings. It was a popular item in the gossip columns to be mentioned, lunching at the VU. Um, the building was owned by B.F. Shearer. He outfitted movie theaters up and down the West Coast. So uh, during Prohibition, in the building downstairs, um, there was a speakeasy. In the speakeasy, there was a staircase that led directly two flights above to the very fancy offices of the president of whatever film office happened to be located in those offices at that point in time. But in the late 1970s, many structures of Film Row were either abandoned or torn down. Film Row had died and the glory days were coming to an end. Then, in the 1990s, the rendezvous began to revive itself and finally became a place where the spotlight could shine once again. Today, the mission, our mission here is to make the theater available to all of Seattle's artists and out of town artists as well um, at a really affordable rate. The Rendezvous continues to be a safe haven and stomping ground for new performers. Its intimacy attracts many and keeps locals in touch with what Seattle once was, but the soul is what reels in people. As of today, the Jewel Box is the last remaining screening room at the peak of Film Row and will continue to truly grasp the essence of Seattle's history. For Roar TV, I'm Davis Cruz. Hey Oviedo, I'm Davis with a look at your forecast for the three-day weekend. The Sunshine State certainly isn't living up to its name. We saw a line of thunderstorms roll across the Florida Peninsula today, leaving us pretty soaked in the process. Expect more of the same thing tomorrow with a 70% chance of rain. However, that drops to 40% on Monday. An umbrella might be a preferable choice to a raincoat as the warmer weather from the past 10 days will continue tomorrow with a high of 81 and a low of 68. The high then gets up to 85 on Monday. That's a look at your central Florida forecast. Now back to the studio.